The next series of videos is going to bring Azure into the picture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Flask application and then deploy it to Azure using the app service. And we'll look at uh, a database and then some other things later on. I'm going to still continue to use Visual Studio Code. And the app itself is not that impressive. It's the process that I'm trying to get across here. So in this video, I'm going to show how to set up the structure of the application. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'll, I'm in Visual Studio Code here. I'll do Control Backtick. And I'll change my source directory. And I'll make a directory called Azure Application. Okay, I'll CD into that. No, CD into Azure Application. There we go. And then I will restart Visual Studio Code in that directory. Control back tick again. And I'll create my virtual environment. Python 3-m vinv.vinv. Okay. Then Control Shift P, Python Select Interpreter and select the virtual environment. All right, now I can control back tick. The virtual environment will be automatically activated for me. And I can say Python dash M pip install. And there are a number of packages I'm going to need. So I'm going to need Flask RESTful because there will be an API and part of this will be an API. And this will go ahead and install Flask as well. I'm going to need Faker because I need to generate some data. I think, I think that's enough for right now. I'll probably want IPython at some point, but. Okay, and the next thing that I'll do is go ahead and create the application, I guess. Well, actually what I'll do is I'll create a gitignore first. And I'll add my .env because I do not want my virtual environment in Git. And I need to initialize the repository. Okay. Now I think that'll work. Okay, so I'm gonna, this is going to be a little bit more complex application, so I'm gonna have some structure to it. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a folder called app, and I'm going to create a file inside of it called dunderinit.py. And this will turn this folder app into a module. And in here is where I'll actually create my Flask app. So I'll say from Flask import, uh, not app, but Flask and also render template. And then I'll create the application. And then I'll create a route just so we can have something to work with here. Say def index. I'm going to return render template index.html default place it'll look will be in a folder named templates and then in there I'll create a base template because there may be some boilerplate code that I want so I will in here this is where I'll put my all my boilerplate I'll put a block named content and then I'll end that block create another file called index okay. that'll use the base template I just created and then I'll put something in the block and then something just like index instead Okay, at this point, I'm going to do something, and this is going to be for later on when deploying to Azure, but in the very root, I'm going to put a file called startup, and this will be a module named startup, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to say from app import app. So this app here, this is the module app represented by this folder, and this is the Flask app 
that is uh, inside of the init.py file. Now if I want to run this, since I'm in PowerShell, I'll access the environment, let's say flask app equals, and I'm going to have a, a module named startup, and then because this is a module here, and then inside of there I imported app, and then I'll set flask env to development. All right, now I can run flask run. And if I go to my browser, go to this address in my browser, I'll see the content there. All right, so now I'm actually not going to use that method to run the application. Instead, I'm going to run it from inside of the editor here. And I can do that by going over to this run and debug pane. And I'm going to tell it to create a launch.json file. And I'm going to want to be on a Python file when I do that. Because it's going to ask me what kind of configuration do I want to create. And it's got one down here for a Flask application. And I'm going to tell it the path is again startup app. And it's going to create this configuration file. And as you can see, it's set, it's set the Flask app and Flask ENV for me. And then there are other uh, things that we can set that we'll look at later on. But now, all I have to do is click the Run icon. As you can see, it's got my configuration here selected. And we get the same result. So now I'll go ahead and I'll just say um, Initial. I'll commit this and we'll get started uh, with some more stuff in the next video.